How are we opening the show? <laughs> Green Acres. No. Um, welcome to Juice in the Media. <laughs> yeah, hey. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, so let's get right into it. Stuff. Stuff and uh, things. Yeah. How you doing? I'm oh, not too bad. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty okay. All right. <laughs> How was your week? It was. It was. It was. I worked. I didn't work. And then I went back to work. And then, you know, I had some hours off. And then I went back to work. And then I had some hours off. You know. I did that. I did that. Spent some time with my family. Slept a little bit. I uh, ate some stuff. I caught a cold. Pooped. Like a, like a, like a cold like I had when I was a little boy. That's like stuffy nose. I don't know. When you're a little boy and when you're I don't know. Any any time I've had boy. a cold now, it's it's like a combination of a bunch of things. You know, a stomach thing or whatever. But this is just, just a just a cold. Sniffles and uh botulism sneezing. sneezing. I may sneeze. Um no idea. It was floating around the office. I think everybody's had it. Um so yeah, you should uh, stay away from your coworkers if you're all passing around. It's good advice and stuff. Well, I think we should just like not be in the office if we're sick. I definitely think you shouldn't be in the office when you're sick. I think you shouldn't be in the office when you're well. You shouldn't be in the office. Ever. It's true. We should all just work from our phones <laughs> wherever we want to be. Um, how do we do that? How do we go about making that happen? <laughs> Write your congressman. <laughs> I mean, it's got to start somewhere. It, w- it won't hurt. I don't think it'll help. But uh, dear congressman, I live in Israel, and we don't have congressmen here. <laughs> no, you know what, dear member of the Knesset. I don't want to have to go to work. (laughs) Make it so I can work from my cell phone. Thanks. That won't work. I'm pretty sure that won't work. (laughs) ID number. Yeah, still pretty sure that won't work. 20 shekels. That may work. (laughs) Getting closer. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) that'll get you through the door. Um, yeah, corruption. Corruption. Government. Did you hear yeah, what? Uh, all right. I don't know all the details because I didn't care to read about them. But you know what? Un- you have an understanding of base- the basics of what's going on with BB? Uh, yeah, Prime Minister guy. Bribery. They might charge him. They might not. Um,. Bribery for what though? I, I, I've heard a lot of these these words thrown around, but not like what. So many different things. Actually, I'm happened. just gonna go with um, everything. Every, every, everything that's been ever been done since the country was I don't know because it's a very corrupt country. So uh, probably lots of things. I know there was the whole submarine thing. Uh, gifts were given, bribes, things were you know to. Uh, uh. Acquire right. some submarines, right? Uh, but I don't know if that's exactly what they're talking about, or exactly the whatnots and the who wears and the what fors and the why hows, why hows of uh, what's going on. But uh, the other day he had a speech. He was, uh, I guess, a big report. Uh, the police uh, uh, made their recommendation that he be. Uh, that it uh, prosecute they they, they 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 try him or whatever okay cool and they they, they just bring charge official charges or whatever against him and so that night he went on TV and he was like giving his whole speech like oh this is all crap this is nonsense <laughs> this is all political okay but w- while we're watching it I know no I'm, I'm sitting there, I don't understand a word of what's going on but I'm just watching it and it was pointed out to me that uh, there's uh, a, a drop there, there's water. 
<laughs> dripping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, in the room, wherever they were, there must have been a, a, a leaky. It must have been raining. A leaky pipe, whatever. Okay, and it, you couldn't hear it, but just every you know, corruption and uh, fuck you, and you're all bloop, bloop, bloop. just a single every drip, every, like yeah, every so often. Just every every drip. drip. <laughs> now, I, I, I where was, was this? I I don't know. Wherever the hell the prime minister makes speeches from, I in um, Israel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, pretty, somewhere in Israel. Uh, I would assume I don't see he's in Israel. This you know, he didn't go anywhere, did he? No, I thought you, you said it like it was raining. Well, I guess it no, did I rain mean, a little it, bit. It, it could have been. You know, it rains more in Jerusalem than it you know does here. Maybe and it could you know whatever. Yeah, uh, maybe there was a That's broken funny, pipe though. in the. I don't know, but it was just. You, you, you didn't hear it's not like it was landing into a bucket full of water or you couldn't hear like a psh, psh, hit like a wet rug or anything but just you know he's sitting there and you know, I will fight these charges and bloop <laughs> you know and it's just going on and he's not acknowledging it nobody's acknowledging he's not like hey can someone get a bucket or you know I mean you know put your finger up in the here we go let's just uh, bloop you're holding up the you know, putting your finger in a dam or nothing, but, but it was funny. That's funny. Now, I, I only watched it for about three or four minutes most, you know, and then I went and did whatever the hell it was I was doing that wasn't watching that, but uh, it, yeah, it was kind of funny. <laughs> Made me laugh. Uh, what was he talking about? Um, Irrelevant. I, yeah, Irrelevant. No, it has nothing to do with that. <laughs> you know, I, I, I look. I didn't understand a word of what he was saying. Okay, but let's just assume it was all. I didn't do it. They're wrong. This is all political. They're just trying to get me. Everyone's out to get me because I'm so great. Type thing. Okay. They're afraid of the truth. They. I, I think you know what I think. It, yeah, he was like, "You can't handle the truth." <laughs> um, you want the yeah something like yeah I, in English also yeah oh yeah all of a sudden you just busted cool. out you can't handle the truth <laughs> you're a cocksucker that part I understood the rest of it was uh, <sighs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's Ooh. been uh, quite a week. Really? Yeah. What kind of week has it been? You heard about this, uh, it's Florida, right? Florida. I've heard this, of Florida. Uh, uh, yeah, there was this state. It's uh, It's been going for a while. I lived um, in Florida. Did you? I did. Why? <sighs> Motorcycle school. You were learning to be a motorcycle? I was learning. I learned how to be a motorcycle. Cool. Yeah, how was watch. it? Vroom. That's nice. That's nice. That's good. Huh? That's good. Uh, no, uh, there was this shooting. Shooting in Florida. Uh, yeah. I, I, a bunch of I, kids I, got shot. Okay, let's make it clear. I heard there was a shooting. I saw all the headlines, people killed and, you know, horrible, horrible stuff. And then I saw all the Facebook posts going, you know, you suck and fuck you and, blah, and take this away and don't take this away and stay out of my out of my cold, dead hands. And, you know, all the so I, I, I have I have tuned tuned it all out. I, I know what happened. But, I'm you know, it's just become. You know, one of those things that you scroll past on Facebook. Uh, uh, shoot, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that that's how it's again. become these days. Like, uh, we're oh, look, that idiot's for the most part desensitized dinner. to it. Uh, it's it's happening so often. It just doesn't matter anymore. Is it really like, happening really so it. often? No, it's like, saw, but it's so much report, more in the I news. I saw a report saying that there was like twenty nine mass uh, shootings. I almost said mass murders, but mass shootings uh, in 2018, and then it pointed out that we were that we we're only, uh, 2018, and, and, and that you know it pointed out that we're only uh, 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 46 days or whatever 
uh, into 2018. And I was like, wait a minute, 29 mass shootings in four? That doesn't sound right. And I was, and I, I didn't get four sources. This is not, you know, okay. the most reputable uh, 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 reporting or, or investigative, uh, rep- whatever. But it was like, you know, what what they were uh, considering mass shootings w- was like, um, uh, if like more than one person was in a room and a gun went off. It's a mass shooting. A gun just went off, like hit somebody, or that's what it. No, it 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 it, it didn't list any necessarily that anyone was injured or killed. It was just talking like shootings. I wouldn't call those mass shootings. That doesn't mean that they're okay or less less. Uh, well, if you're they are less at one impactful. Person, but if you if, if a gun if you shoot at someone and don't hit anybody, like but there I, were two people in the general direction of the the gun. Mass shooting. And apparently there have been 29 oh, okay. of okay, so a shooting range wouldn't count. No. Because they're behind the no. line of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you have to be downrange of the bullet. Okay. More than one person. Yes, that's... that's. And that's a mass shooting. And that constituted... By this one... This was not but, like the legal definition. This was like... By some anti, what they were going by, that's uh, fine. Advocacy, group that's fine. Thing. But but uh, what are those scenarios? What are those twenty nine scenarios where people are downwind of a of a gun? Uh, that's still like the fact that there's that. Okay, the fact that uh, let's not just talking about the successful shootings. Because successful shootings get more uh, get you, more uh, more of a response than, what is than your anything definition else. Definition of successful shooting where people actually get shot, where people actually get killed. Because the the news is is not there to to keep you informed; they're keeping you engaged. And the more the more they they give you these uh, these things that you know that get the the public attention. Um, I don't know. The more they're going to happen, uh-huh. is that related? Maybe. I, mean, I don't well, know. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Just think about it. You know, if they didn't sensationalize this stuff in the news, okay, if, it wouldn't uh, get attention. If yeah, if they didn't turn these uh, uh, creeps, breaking news, dun, dun, dun. Nah, if they didn't display the name of the person, if they didn't put their picture up there, if they didn't, you know, would 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 these kids still be interested in doing these things? I mean, you can't not report on it, okay? You know, if someone goes of into course. a school and starts shooting up a bunch of kids. You have to uh, report on it. it. It is news. But they're not rep- again. They're not reporting it for for you to be informed. They're impo- they're reporting on it because it's something that you will want to hear. <coughs> it, it's just to keep you riveted oh, to the yeah. screen. No, think about it. You know, it's they, always been like this. This, this is- could be the report. Uh, breaking news: uh, There was a shooting in a school in Florida, and. Uh, some kids were killed and uh, some were wounded. It's also like uh, uh, today in baseball. I mean, that's it. That's it. You, you have reported it. You don't need to have someone to, uh, down there uh, on, on the sh- on the on the on the on the scene, okay, with a microphone putting it, uh, 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 you know, uh, putting a camera in the face of some kid, okay, who who was just being shot at. Going, uh, you know, how do you feel about what happened? Why did it happen? Where were you when it happened? What, that is oh my god that is not the news that is not news there is nothing newsworthy about what what a person was going through no it's just to add the emotional uh, the emotional uh, effect on it imagine uh, imagine you were you were making love to a woman you met in a bar and, and suddenly someone would kick in the door and say how did you feel while you were you know having your dick sucked by this late you know i mean this is not news this is this is just you know yeah, it would be it's, interesting. It's tabloid. I, would watch, I it's might tabloid-ish. watch that show. Uh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bam! How does that? She's doing it. You know. Uh. How long ago did you meet? No, it's it, it, exactly. It's it's all about selling uh, selling the the time slot. So uh, and, and and they do it. They do it. They do it well. But uh, yeah. 
So shooting. And now, now, because I don't. Which I'd be completely different. Oh. And now for something. And now for a bad segue. Gun control. Hey, speaking of segues, isn't it funny that the guy that invented the segue drove off a cliff on a segue? I don't think that's true. I've heard that's actually not factual. I didn't hear that. Uh, well, Miriam's going to join us soon. <laughs> I don't think she is. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, it's uh, it's what? ten o'clock in the morning. Nine in the morning. Ten. 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 No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ten o'clock in the morning. Most people are actually working. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I I I I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, oof, guns. I don't know. Sheesh. No, because oh. I do know. But it's it's a matter of how to how to get people to understand on the same side how how do pe- how people can understand what it's, what the other side is saying it's because so simple arm everyone stop being such pussies about it if no, everyone but, but has what a they gun talk about and someone starts shooting blam they're dead blam they're dead it's the easiest it, thing it in is. the world it is arm everyone everyone even the even the babies Derringers, come on, man. You can handle a Derringer from four years old. Come on. Four? Well, I, 22? I, two or three. You plop, you know. A cap gun. Get Absolutely. them trained early with cap guns and then get into, like, early, like, well, from infancy. I, I think you're being ridiculous. First two, th- first th- two three years. I think you're being ridiculous, but, you know, <laughs> a, 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 an arm to, all right, what would be the solution? What would be the solution? Take all the guns away from everyone. That's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. No, that's not even reasonable. Because the only way, but that's the only way to do that is to go down the list of who has guns. And the only way to get a list of who has guns is if you go by uh, uh, gun sales, okay, and gun registration. And the only people that have registered their guns are legal gun owners. The the question that I that I find myself asking lately, where where is where is uh uh. You know, you know, the NRA has has uh, you know they're they're strong with lobbying, uh, and they ensure that every vote against the NRA's best interests is voted against. So, well, you still haven't given what me an answer. What, what, they, what would work? What would work? Fuck the NRA. Would, would destroying the NRA help and get things? What no. would? What kind of gun bill? What kind of law? What kind of action? What could? What could we do? Well, first of all, to imp- to to make this happen less. First of all, during during the do five day wait, hang this on, hang on. More? Is it just because there are more guns in the United States that there are more? Schools? It's in the culture. It's in the American culture just to have guns. It's obviously not everybody has guns, but. Okay, I, it's not I uncommon for United people States, to have guns. The culture it's, where guns. They're, guns was cool. You're you know? free to have them. They're enjoyable. They're fun. We would go in the backyard and shoot things. Yeah, and me and my dad would go to the gun range and go shoot paper targets. It wasn't, you know, all right, let's strap on our guns and go into the school and start shooting things. Let's go. Come on. Exactly. Tradition. This is. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of issues at play. I, I don't. I don't remember. You know, I don't. I don't remember. Uh. 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 uh, uh Trying to think of a ridiculous day. Uh, I, I don't remember August 9th being uh, shoot it's up ridiculous. your, you know, uh, mass uh, murder your school day, you know, and everyone gets to come into school and start shooting people randomly to celebrate, you know, because it's a cultural thing. We, you know, celebrate our cult. I don't remember that. So to say, you know, that th- these mass shootings are, are because of a uh, cultural thing or a. Uh, 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 Where'd you get that from? That the gun. Uh, Where did you get that from? No, no, stop. Where'd you get that from? That's what you said. I said guns. Guns are in our culture. I didn't say shooting people, uh, shooting uh, shooting up schools is in well, our culture. Well, that's what I said. I'm saying this is not part of our culture. I'm no. saying guns may be, but. But, 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 but guns but are so easily not. accessible. And with the with the five day waiting rule, okay, you know about the five three day five day. It changes from place so to place. A few days uh, waiting rule. Uh, in that period, they're supposed to have filed your 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 name into a database. You know about this? 
They're supposed to file your name into a database so it can be checked, so it can be logged, so it can be registered. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't do that. Hundreds of sales unregistered. Uh, so, so it, the syst- the whole system is very lax. Uh, people are are. Should there be a a a a a a, 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 a gun license permit office? A place that you have, like the DMV, you have to go down and fill out paperwork and get a special gun owner's permit. Uh, you know, an I actual do think card so. so that you can go to the gun store and show them this physical card. And, I do and, think and so. Everything else. Why should they not? Why should people not have to do that? If there's such a high risk, clearly such a high risk of shootings, kids getting a hold of their daddy's gun. Come on. This shit is happening. Why shouldn't they have to do that? Because it's my right to have a gun. Fuck you. What well, is my right to have a gun? Okay. You can still have a gun. So then why should I have to jump through the hoops and uh, do whatever There's some say? people who probably shouldn't have a gun. But land of the free. Freedom. 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 Okay, so mass shootings in schools. That's freedom. But That's why? true freedom. Because to be able to I just go into a school shoot. and shoot kids up. It doesn't that make is sense. actual freedom. Wow. Wow. All right. When I was That's growing up, when I was growing up. Land of up, the free, home of the, home when, of the brave. When I was growing up, we That's did not. That's fucked up. Most of the kids I knew did not have guns. Wow. Okay? Um, everyone had a knife. I had a knife. Everyone, I used to have a few knives. Everyone maybe. I know had a knife. It, 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 uh, you didn't necessarily always carry a knife, but everyone I knew had a knife. Sometimes you might have a knife on you, depending on what you were planning on doing that night. You know, things, ha- you know. Camping. Uh, glamping. Maybe you were what going the fuck is that word, glamping? Glamorous camping. I don't want to ever hear that word again like in my life. Like if you go camping, but like I don't ever want to hear like, that uh, word. Like one of the expensive I'm, uh, I'm RVs. I'm stopping the broadcast. <laughs> That's what I it's don't, called. I don't ever want to hear that word glamping. Well, I'm not the one that made it up. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like it's like this word. I, I think I mentioned this last week about dreamers. You know, these words that, that are just fuel for the other side. You know, they hate the word the word uh dreamers. You know, they they uh, on the 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 NRA uh the the uh, ultra conservative side, they genuinely think uh a lot of them genuinely think that uh, that Democrat Democrats want to take away all of your guns. I don't really know anybody who actually thinks that. I don't think that. I bet I'm not are, a Democrat. But I bet there are people that absolutely want to take all your guns. Uh, they're not. There are, they're, I'm not even going to say. There's a few there people. Are. There, there are. are of people. course, there's a few people. And there's a few. A few is like you know. Five, six, that's a few. Six or seven There's people. like, you know, I'll give you eight. hundreds of thousands, if not more. Uh, there's there's extremes on both sides. Nonetheless, uh, that's not the general the general motive of of the liberal side. Because obviously that's that's really what it comes down to with guns. It's it's Republican and, and uh, Democrat. They want to take our guns! Um but that's not actually true. You'll take my gun for my cold. That's dead not actually hand. true. There's the there's the uh there's the gun show loophole which is is kind of ridiculous. There is no gun show. What is the gun show? Do you want, do you know what the gun show loophole is? Kind of. Is it the gun show loophole is that sometimes people break the law. Sometimes people don't file the paperwork like you just said that they're supposed to. That's the loophole. The loophole is that sometimes there are things in place that people are supposed to do. Okay? Sometimes they don't do them. And then some people call that a loophole in the law. I don't know actually. I'm trying to remember uh having gone to a gun show. Uh there was a uh there was a uh, a, a comedian, okay? And uh the yes, this it guy was. no, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I remember if it was a comedian or a uh a documentary uh filmmaker. Whatever. He was a lefty guy, okay? And he wanted to show how easy it was 
uh, to go out and buy a gun at, at one of these gun shows, right? So he went in there walking around all, and, 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 you know. Was he actually doing yeah, that? I, I think he was. He was like, do, 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 do. I want to buy a gun. So he went around to, both, to a bunch of these, uh, uh, of the dealers and, and, that were there, and he was like, yo, come on. Let's do it on the sly, without a baby, you know, whatever. It's an interesting and change of face. <laughs> he went, do, 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 oh, hey, so buddy, so let's so do so something so on the sly. Yeah, wink, wink, wink. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, he managed to buy a, a zero guns, and he managed to uh, have security uh, called on him. And, uh, you know, they called the police, and the police came, and they checked it, you know. And he, in the end, he, you know, it, he, he, you know did, nobody pressed charges or anything. But that's how easy it was. He proved how easy it was. Hey, you can just walk in there in your underwear with your dick hanging out. Now let's give a gun to a two-year-old. Hey, look at uh, my... Hey, look at breastfeeding the baby. Hey, buy, send her a gun, you know. The baby... It's, it's not like that. It's it's really not, and people try and prove that sure. it is, and then they just prove that they're wrong. But it doesn't stop people from going out there and saying things like "gun show loophole." Yeah, the loophole is that some people don't follow the laws and they'll sell you a gun anyway, even though they're not supposed to. Okay, so so it there needs to happen. be a regulation. There needs to be some control over that, so that stops happening. Well, there are well, there are rules in place and everything else, but sometimes. The dealers decide. Well, I'll sell this one on the side. I, I wonder what. what uh, else can you I do? wonder how many have, guns are, are you sold have a through that. Are you going to have a government official in every gun store, watch, standing there at the counter, watching every single employee, uh, making sure that they do everything exactly the way it's supposed to be done? No. No. Not so, there's, oh, so that means that they are basically. But they should. They should have to file their file their information. Monthly, quarterly, uh, whatever, on a on a regular basis, showing against the the gun sales and the receipts for them and the the information that's required for them. Communism, communism. How is that communism? This is out of socialism, dictators. I don't know. How is it socialism? I don't know. I hear that a lot. You it's want just... to take my guns? Do you just want to? Do you... <laughs> You just want to find out who we are and where our guns are so you make it easier for you to come and take them. Uh, we know yeah. your game, you... I I think it's just ridiculous. Cocksucker. I think it's just ridiculous, the, the whole gun show. Uh, uh, not the gun show, the but... Uh, um, Look, I love guns. Gun if, you, if you go and look at my... If you go and look at my uh, Facebook profile... Um, it's me, my brother, and my dad. And in the picture, we're holding five or six guns. Um, guns you know, are awesome. We guns are, are a lot of fun. Pro gun. Nothing I love more than you know kicking down the school of a uh, kicking in the door of a kindergarten and pfft, letting some lead fly. It's <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, children. Ah! It's 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 you know, um, but you know you got to be careful. You got to you know make sure you have ear protection and you, <laughs> you gotta make sure you have your safety goggles. Uh. <laughs> I told you if you were going to talk about this, I was going to you know bring the humor somehow. But uh, no, but uh, that was hilarious, Steve. <laughs> that was hilarious. Bet you didn't see it coming. <laughs> uh, but 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 yeah, I. I it's what what is you know the NRA is is throwing so much money into making sure that there that they can stay uh that that there will be no gun regulations whatsoever what are they getting out of it what are, what are they making out of this what's their profit like cuz there needs to be some financial gain for any of these people to to do as you know, such insane things that they're doing, throwing so much money into this. There's got to be some reason behind this. And I just, what is what is the NRA getting out of this? Uh, Making sure that there's no gun regulation that, that now uh, talking about this, uh, this Obama era, uh, um, uh, what was it, the uh, legislation? On uh, the mentally ill getting guns, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that, that Trump repealed. Um, we'll get to that in a second. 
Uh, this was this was, and actually, after reading a little bit more about it, I do understand why it was not good. Uh, it was saying that it was basically allowing you to to profile people, uh, and if this guy doesn't seem right, then you can't sell him a gun. But that impedes on on uh, on a lot of uh, on the constitution. It's unconstitutional. Profiling um, is a great and beautiful thing. It can't be the only thing used. No, but, it, but you it can, works. But you can use it in the right way. Now, this is not actually going to be profiling them. This is well, it is profiling them at the end of the day, but because uh, it's just a word. But uh, it's actually giving them some sort of test, some sort of some sort of uh, uh, analysis, uh, reviewing them, watching them, whatever it is, uh, to see if this person is prone to shooting up a school uh a test like is somebody who uh, who does actually have a psychological profile what kind or something of questions like this are on that test you know uh, do you when you see the color blue oh what it's do like you a psychology think? exam it's like the the holland test you know the john holland test for personality it's it's just understanding the type of person this is 50 questions or something and you don't really understand when you're when you're reading each question because not each question by itself it's it's them weighed against each other it's it's uh it's an algorithm that's that's used to calculate it so you can't really you don't really know what would be a wrong answer uh if that makes sense um so you ever taken one of these tests? Yeah, I've taken a few of them. Uh, I I suspect it's a little more blatant. You know, they they start. No, no, it's really not. And, it's and really not. That's the whole point of it. No, that's the whole point of it. No, the Holland test is a personality yeah. test. It's what do you for, What do you think when you see the color blue? No, 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 yeah. no, no. The Holland test is you is for for employment. Do you know how to disassemble a forty-five uh, and the, you know, the, 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 field strip it? Stop. The um, the the Holland test is for job uh, for uh, for uh, employment direction. So it tells you based on your personality what what uh, field of work would be best for you. Uh -huh. There's a list of of 150 different jobs for each for each different uh, uh, category, but it's rated into uh, a bunch of different uh, uh, levels. There's realistic. If you're more realistic, then investigative, then entrepreneurial, then uh, uh, artistic, and there was another one. Uh, but it 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 classifies scientific, I think. So it classifies you uh, into these categories. So I was R I S C, which was realistic, investigative, social, and then uh, convention. Not convention. I don't remember what it was. Um, so based on that, I know what types of jobs would be best for me. Um, but you can also take this the same type of test and understand if this person is a psychopath and if this person is a psychopath maybe don't sell them a gun now the way it was done under obama's uh uh legislation uh was too close to profiling without really an investigative uh aspect to it trump instead of fixing it so so what cancel you're it you just repealed it. So what you're saying is this test basically says this person is more likely than that person to commit a crime. This test does not exist. I'm, t I'm making a away, comment on it. Therefore, we should take away his right before he does something. We should punish him for something he That's not a punishment. has not. Well, of course it is. I want to buy a gun. No, you can't. Why? You might do something. Might do something. What do you need a gun for? Well, go to the range and shoot some paper targets. You can go to the range, though. You can rent a gun there. Not in New Jersey. You can't. It's illegal. You Not have to New York. own your own gun. Also illegal. Really? Yep. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh. <laughs> the very strict gun laws. You can't just rent, go uh, into a place and uh, rent a gun. No, but I, I, I feel kind of strongly on that with uh, with gun regulation. I, I, I find it just... just um, would you be all right if impulsive? Would you, would you be all right if they said, "Here's what's going to happen. We're going we, when you're 16 years old, you're going to go into the DMV and you're going to take a test, and then we're going to decide whether or not you ever get to drive a car." 
We yeah. might decide uh, you might be a bad driver. Therefore, you never get to drive a car, even though you've never done anything wrong. You've never done anything wrong in a car. You've never driven a car. You've never sped. You've never driven recklessly. Well, that does you've happen. You've never driven drunk. They do do that. I've never seen that happen to anybody. Well, you've never seen I've somebody seen fail their fa- test? Ah, that's failing their test. Okay. That's not going in there and taking a psychological test and saying, we have determined that you may be a bad driver. Be- you may be a, a dangerous driver, and you may one day decide to drive through a, a group of people uh, who are protesting something, and uh, therefore we're not going to give an- you a license. That's not, it hasn't gotten enough media attention yet. It, uh, it, it's the same thing. It hasn't gotten enough media You attention. haven't done anything wrong yet, and yet they're taking away a constitutionally guaranteed right. Well, it's not in the Constitution. It's in the Bill of Rights. It's an amendment. Fine. You're right. It's in the amendment. So it isn't... Fine. <laughs> I still have a right uh, to bear arms. Okay? And they take... Can- and that law made them made it legal for them to take away made it impossible for them to take away your right to, to own a gun even though you haven't done anything wrong because they think you might be the type of person who would be so inclined to do something well yeah i mean when it's gotten to the point where where people really are abusing that right then you know maybe Why? that right did, did, was was a little bit hasty uh, hastily uh, assembled. I find it. This odd. right was written in the 1700s. Also, I find it odd maybe. that all the kids and people that are doing all these shootings and everything else, they're all legal. They're all legal guns. Exactly. You'd never hear about a kid that went and got uh, an M16 or whatever, uh, an Uzi uh, off the back of some dude's truck down in Newark. Uh, so this kid, this kid in Florida was 15, and he had an AR-15, and uh, it was legally his. Okay. 15. I don't have a problem. Assault with that. rifle. I don't have a problem with that at 15. It was legally his. How I did he get it? Don't and he, have. How did he get and it? He was also expelled from Walmart, school. I guess. He was also expelled from school. Had a had by a way, history of psychological way, uh, uh, issues. You know, uh, 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 Walmart in New Jersey and, and New York, you you cannot walk in and, and, and buy a gun. That is not everywhere. You used to be able to in Kansas City. I don't know about now. Maybe it was on the Missouri I was side. In, I don't uh, know. The first time when I was like fifteen or fourteen or something like that, or yeah, fifteen I'd say. I was in a uh, Walmart or something in uh, Pennsylvania, and they had like a gun section. I was just like, do, 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 do. oh. <laughs> I remember going with shotguns my friend uh, walking the, through they had Cabela's. Big case with handguns, and they had all the rifles and shotguns in the case on the wall, and they had bows, you know, bows and crossbows. Yeah. It was cool. They do not have that shit in Jersey. I used to uh, you could go into a, 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 a Walmart in New Jersey and buy toothpicks. I remember going uh, with my friend John Plastic to knives. Uh, I think Cabela's. that's the most dangerous thing you can buy. Did you there. have Cabela's? No. Cabela's is it's like a it's like. Did you have the Dick Sporting Goods uh, with, like, a climbing wall in them? I want to say that I've heard of Dick's, but I want to say that it was later on. Like, it's more newer. It's like a three-story place uh, uh, store. Anyway, so no, Cabela's no, no, no. is I, that, that I know of. but hunting. And, like, one of the floors is just guns. Huge expense, just guns. We had a place cool. like that growing up. It's, it's gone out of business now. Uh, Ray's Sporting Good. And the place, you know, it, I think, it was I think a gun Ray range. was Dick's dad. It was a uh, gun range, you know, and uh, it was a gun shop. And they also had, like, uh, uh, police equipment, military stuff, and, like, camping gear. I don't and, believe you. But it was mostly weapons. You're lying. And they had a huge fishing equipment. But I don't fish, so I didn't really care. I like that you refer to them as weapons. Not like guns or, because a weapon, like the word weapon, kind of kind of ties it in with, with with killing someone. That's more what what the word weapon. Killing someone. 
Well, here, listen. Uh, Seth, well, yeah, Seth, no, no. Let, 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 okay, yeah, yes, yes. A gun is for killing someone. Okay, because if you're gonna use, well, it's also it, for if, hunting. If you're gonna say, well, it's for killing something, then. Ah. <laughs> That's different. It's, Someone it's not, and something. You know, oh is, well, uh, you know, I was looking at this. We we just redid we just redid the house, and now you know you have this big uh, credenza here with uh, nothing to put on it. So hey, wouldn't an AR-15 look beautiful on that? Th- yes. Oh, we got a nice stand for uh, it. It's put not a, really an put art a piece, though. or something. You know, some kind of thing on there. I don't think an AR-15 is really an art piece, though. Yeah, I kind of like them. I mean, I, it is a piece of art, but uh, I don't know it's. I mean, if I was going with gun on, I don't necessarily know if it would be the first piece I'd go with, but sure. Why not? Yeah. Popular. But uh, going back for a second, uh, Seth Mc- this this caught my eye. Uh, and I want to preface this by saying I did not fact check this quote. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. the well known but conventionally. Oh, the well-known but conventionally ignored quote from Thomas Jefferson regarding evolving constitutional interpretation. But I know also that laws and institutions must go hand in hand with the progress of the human mind. As that becomes more developed, more enlightened, as, the, as new discoveries are made, new truths discovered, and manners and opinions change with the change of circumstances, Institutions advance also and keep pace with the times. We might as well require a man to wear still the coat which fitted him when a boy as civilized society to remain ever under the regimen of their barbarous (laughs) barbarous ancestors. The light is right in front of them. Uh, And yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, uh, sure. Because we're we're following laws from when they didn't have assault rifles, they didn't have machine guns, they didn't have a lot of the weapons that we have now, and we're sticking to an to a very very old law uh, that has had no further amendments to it. Why? Why hasn't it been revised? To meet the times, like the Sanhedrin. Okay, let's let's talk Bible. Well, I, the Sanhedrin came came together in the year seventy after the Second Temple I, was destroyed I, to rewrite the laws so we can interpret them because we can't do sacrifices now. So they they had revised the laws. Yeah. Now this well, is okay. That's right. They revised uh, the law a, a couple thousand uh, years. Yeah, ago. Yeah, there's a but thousand. Let's now, but now, now let's ago. now talk about two thousand years later. Why is it on a, a, a tonight after Shabbos? In, in, okay, in about an hour. Or less might even be Shabbos already. Why is it that I can't turn off the light? Why hasn't the Sanhedrin gotten to get around to getting uh, yeah. to, to get around to saying, well, you know, technically f- flicking a light switch isn't work, or using the remote control for your TV isn't exactly. Work. Why? Why is that? Because right now the law is saying the spark, the 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 idiocy of of the actual uh, spark the correct itself. I- the correct answer is because there has not been a Sanhedrin in over two thousand years. Ex- to change No, it's things. not over 2,000 years. It's Whatever it's been. But, uh, there is no Sanhedrin. Yeah, there, there has been no, no Sanhedrin. They uh, could change these things. Uh, and nobody wants exactly. to form one. Uh, there's been discussion. There's always discussion, but nobody really wants no, to form one. there's been more discussion. Because all these rabbis lose their fucking... Uh, their, their, um, their, their power base. Well... I, I think the Sanhedrin requires uh, like a Kohen, like a like a like a biblical Kohen, uh, and I don't know if there really are any. Now. There's lots of them running around this country. Every every other th- motherfucker in this country is a Kohen. No, like an actual like biblical, uh, clean Kohen Gadol, like unblemished biblical. I don't think we have those now. Yes, an unblemished. Uh, whatever you call it, I don't know the word. Um, you don't know the word, so you thought the word might be unblemished, unblemished. biblical. Uh, yeah, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Know. The guns, guns. No, I love guns. Here's, I love guns. Guns your, are amazing. They're so much fun. I, I, I don't it's believe. Just, I, I understand Christ. that Americans have a fascination with guns and everything else, and I'm an American and I love guns. Okay, but I don't believe that just because there are more guns in the United States equals 
that's why there are all these mass killings. When I was younger, everyone had there. A, when I was younger, everyone had a knife. Everyone had a knife. Not everyone has a gun. Everyone had a knife. We didn't go around stabbing each other. You didn't hear about oh, Johnny went to school and stabbed a whole bunch of kids in school today. Kicked in the door of the kid. Stabbed, what stabbed, is stabbed, the stabbed, cause? Stabbed. I'm not saying I didn't necessarily. What want is the to. cause? Yes, that's what I, that's what I'm asking. What is the root cause? You can take away. We're the all gun. desensitized to this. Other countries aren't desensitized to this. No. Other countries don't None. hear rock and roll music and don't play video games where they're shooting shit. They don't go on Facebook and see de- 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 Do decapitations. They have guns? The only difference is that they don't have access to guns. Do they have guns? If they had access to guns, they'd be running around school shooting people up. Maybe. Do they have guns, though? That's the most important question. Japan, uh, the UK. Okay, so then you're like, for taking these away places? everyone's gun. No. Because people have guns. So you can't say now that, well, what the answer Again, is taking away and guns. White. Again, black and white. There's no... There's no middle ground. Okay, but this is what you're it's saying. Control. You're co- it, well, if you're comparing it to countries where they have no guns, and you're saying this is the answer, then you, what you're saying is the answer is to take away guns. No. No. So th- you're using examples of countries that have no guns, but that's not the answer. Taking all guns away? No. You don't need to take all guns away. That's not necessary. Just the illegal ones? No, it's too easy to get guns. I'm talking about moving forward, dude. People have guns. Getting guns. Guns are out there. You're right. There are guns out there. More guns are being purchased with yeah. no regulation, no control, nothing whatsoever. That's the problem. Do we want to talk about about uh, about imposing restrictions on on video games? That's imposing on free speech. So no, no matter what you lose on on whether it's the First Amendment or the Second Amendment, you're gonna you're gonna fuck one of them. I'd rather have video games. All right, well there you go. And guns. <laughs> you can have sh- guns in your video I games. I want to shoot my video games, which means I want to buy them and throw them in the air and shoot them with real guns. And well, then, a lot of the games you're getting nowadays are just digital downloads. You just throw your hard drive in the air. Don't do that, dude. Maybe. Come on. Uh, yeah. What else is happening in the world? Um, stuff. Things, too? And things. That's cool. That's what I've heard, anyway. <laughs> but, uh, but you wanted to talk about a few things, right? I don't remember why you talking about anything. No, Steve doesn't want to talk about anything. What? Steve doesn't want to talk about anything. Uh, 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 well, uh, well, there is something over here I could could talk about. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, Let me see what's going on. Uh, let's see, Jews in the media. Jews in the, the media. Hey, that's uh, us. Hey, we're online. Did you know that, James? Are we online? Nobody's online. Are we in line? I, I'm going back to the States in May. Really? Yeah. I just saw my brother uh, posted something. Uh, Ooh, Facebook did uh, something. Louis new. Mueller Barbecue. I don't even know where that is. Where is this? I have no idea where this place is. Um, I'm so excited to go back to the States. Uh, it's going to be really cool. I haven't been in uh, quite a while. Hey, it's us holding our phones. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I do this. Ooh, Are wait. you watching us watch ourselves? I'm uh, watching. There we go. I am now watching us watch yeah. ourselves watch ourselves. No, I'm not. It's still behind. All right. Oh, I guess it's. Uh, I guess it just caught up with me. That was pretty cool. Hey, look, we're being listened to by one dick. Um, yeah. So I haven't been to the states in uh, in a few years. Really? Yeah, it's been a while. Wow. Uh, I got a lot of family. Got a lot of uh, friends. Got a got new family to see. You have family in the states? One or two of people's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I guess I guess it'll be interesting to see them. 
but yeah, it's uh, it's exciting. I haven't been in a while, so. Uh, wow. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm I'm lost in the delay between us and f- Facebook. Did you just say that? <laughs> uh, wow. No, my nose is just is just not doing well. Uh, my nose was fine in case I still before I came to your apartment. I think it's your apartment. Yeah. Well, I did close the window, but I only closed it for the for the show. Uh, it's, it's, it's close to the show. Are you making fun of the way that? You make it for the way you <laughs> uh, Yeah, what else do we have to talk about? <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, nothing, Mouth noises. We really went through everything. Well, the we one thing faster everything. than. Oh, so uh, okay. So so I was looking for this uh, for this ginger stuff. For the longest time. Uh, did I tell you about this? Your ginger tea thing that you yeah. found here randomly one day somewhere? Yeah, okay. So I had this I ginger glued to the bottom beverage. of a drawer one day that you pulled out. And it might have been here for like 20 years. No, no. Uh, you know, hand me, the, hand me the umbrella. No. Yeah, hey, hand me the umbrella for a second. This is so unprofessional, James. Uh, this is happening anyway. <laughs> I'm our only listener right now. Why does it still say that I'm listening? No, it doesn't say you're listening. It says you joined. You did join. You unjoined, but you did join. I think that's what it's saying. But it should say I unjoined. You dejoined. I did dejoin. Okay, so. All right, so I'm back. I know you missed me. Back in the New York groove, yeah. What movie was that in? I don't know. Probably lots of movies. At one time, it was a... Okay. Possibly... Do I have the other? Popular Kiss song. I don't have the other with me. Why don't you have the other with you? No, I have the, the, the old packet that's actually uh, that I was using to try and find this new one. Oi, va voi. So it's these little, these little, uh, uh, yeah, it's this, uh, ginger honey tea thing. And it's just, what is it? No one cares. Ingredients, ginger, glucose, honey, and sugar. That's the only thing in it. But it's like that, uh, Australian ginger, like really spicy. And it clears the shit out of your sinus. Uh, I didn't drink one today. So uh, th- I found this, finally, which is the same thing. Uh, and I found it very easily, surprisingly enough. So I'm going to drink some of that. And, uh it's show and tell, guys. I often have problems with my side eye. Side eye peninsula. Okay, but I, I just, you know. Flonase. Uh, Alan. I think I have some somewhere. And in uh, a couple of minutes, bam! I'll be breathing clear as a thing that breathes clearly. Christmas morn. Yes, I'll be breathing as clear as a Christmas morn. As a Christmas morn breathes. Because, <laughs> yes, they, they are known for their breathing prowess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Almost. Almost. I did say I was maybe going to sneeze at the beginning, but I did not sneeze yet. Uh, but yeah. So what you were saying is there was a possibility that you were going to sneeze, but you didn't. 
There was a possibility, but I didn't. Breaking news. James may have sneezed. Well, James thought he was going to sneeze, but hasn't so far. Back to you, Breaking James. Breaking news. Back to you, James. Breaking news. Grab a glass of water. All right. Well, how about that weather? It's been weathery out, hasn't it? It has been weathery. Ooh, I'll tell you. One day it's cold. Is... One day it's warm. But I've every single day, around. every single day is weather. Yeah. <sighs> I'll tell you, though. It's a, it's, a, it's a real thing. Last week went out just, uh, you know, short sleeve T-shirt. Next day it was raining out and I was wearing It's like a Kansas City. Jacket. It's like Kansas City. It'll, it'll, it'll do that. It's freezing cold and then boiling hot the same day. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, when I lived in San Francisco, okay, my apartment didn't have an air conditioning. I did not know this. No, 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 new story. Um, because you really didn't need one for the most part, uh, even in the middle of the summer. Did you have this, like... It was just nice enough out in, in, you know, the the weather was, there was always a cool breeze and everything, and you could open up the windows and, uh... Keep yourself cool. It was really only one or two days uh, out of the summer where did it was you have really this, hot like, enough that you really needed an air conditioning. Did you have this uh, this thing on the wall, like a vent? No. A big, tall, long no. vent? I, I you know what I'm nothing. talking about? I had a box fan that I would put in the window on like the one or two days where it was really fucking hot. And it did nothing, really. Um... I only really saw these in California, um, but it's 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 like it's like about this wide, a foot, a foot and a half wide, and it's from the floor up to about here, like like five feet or so, and it's just a vent. So it's right up to here. But something like that. Okay. Uh. But I'm not sure if it's like, because it looks like it's more than just a vent. Like it looks like there's something in it. But I wasn't ever sure. My brother has them in his house. I had them in his house. Couldn't you ask your brother? Like that would be a really easy thing to do. Hey, what are those things on your walls? See if he answers. <laughs> I'm just gonna stare at the uh, camera until he answers. Um, any day yeah. now. Any day now. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna call it uh, call it short. My my nose is. Yeah, well, I think that's a good idea because me. in ten minutes I'm gonna have to do, do a lot of walking. Climb time. up seven flights. Seven of stairs. flights of stairs. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, actually, it's eight flights because it's on oh, the is roof. It eight? It's eight flights. Uh, is that eight floors? The roof is the eighth floor. So it's been a great show. It's been fun seeing you. Like things, share things. Uh, All those. Yeah. I don't know where it is. Like it here, somewhere over in here. I'm pointing at the like. Ask us if you would like for us to share with you where the like button is. Yeah. Share. We'll send you a screenshot. Like. Like this, share this, like some other stuff, and share that too. Tell everyone uh, what a great show. Just it in is. general, like things and share them. Yeah, but let ours no, no, be our in, included. Things, in that. Our things, not well, other stuff. Well, well uh, no, I mean let, let us be included sucks. in that. Our show, good. Everything else, yeah. sucks. work, family, sucks. We're good. Share us. These guys? I meant you. They're coming out with a new movie. I am psyched for that. Well, they've talked about it. They've talked about it for a long time. But eight uh, minutes, James. Eight minutes. It might already be close. Okay. All right. Peace, guys. Here. Peace.